Hi, welcome to Synchronize Lighting product videos. In this video we will teach you how to set up and run your product. In this part I'll try and explain to you the 8 channel controller and the 3 channel controller. What I've done here for demonstration purposes is just rigged up a small set of lights with a small program just to show you what you can do. So our 50-50s, what you wire each wire this leads a little bit short, so into each channel, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You plug the USB interface cable into the PC and a 24 volt main power supply. They flicker. The LED flashes, which tells it that there is nothing controlling it. So, when you're adding more than one controller to your light show, it's worth remembering that all of our controllers leave the factory as preset number one. You cannot have more than one, or you cannot have two number ones on the same network. So, go into Device Manager, click on Comport Free, and it will, if it's connected, it will automatically find your controller number one what you do is change the ID here say on this show we're going to call it number five and we would say control they call it what you want here so control number five it's just so you remember and then don't forget you need to press save when you press save okay to that then what happens is when you open up now when you open it up it won't find it because obviously now it's number five so when you daisy chain you cannot have more than one number one useful tip when you're creating your show never call a controller number one always call it number two number three number four number five and so on purely because when they leave the factory they're number one then you can add them in, in line and change them then. So now if you can't find and you can't remember which one it is but you know it's connected, click search and it will run through all of the network counting up and it will let you know all of the ones that it's found. So now it's found number five. So you close that so now you know it's number five so you wanted to look for number five and that's it. You need the LED to go solid. Once the LED is solid, the computer is now controlling it. I've written a small program of the lights flashing, which I will do a screen grab and show you. If I press play, very various fixed sequences of what the lights, what you can do to the lights. So what I'm going to do now is introduce the freeway controller or free free channel controller. Same as the eight, but so what I'm going to do is remove the USB interface and remove the power. Now when we say daisy chain, all you do is go from A to B to A to B with a suitable wire. So make sure that you get them around the right way.
obviously you need to extend the power again making sure you get it correct now we should plug the mains back in the flicker plug the USB back in when now for this show I've connected two controllers but for the life of me I can't remember which one it, which numbers they are so click on search and it will go there we go so it's number two and number five so just so you know and then what you do is close now what you do is go to number two and there's number two number three there's nothing control no controller found number five is found a controller when both lights go solid press play on the computer we now have let's say you daisy chain so you come from A to B to there, A to B from there. If you have another, then you come from A to B from there, to A to B from there, and so on, all the way through the sequences. Hi, this is the screen grab. I said to you what I would do is show you the little program I wrote on the eight and three channel controller. Here are just the sequences, fade up, fade down, red, green, blue you run through just to show you what the lights will do what they won't do same for the free channel controller highlight it shows you channel one which is blue red and green just the sequences once they're set you press play and it will run part the yellow line and whenever there's a command that's what it will do you turn the lights on and off different colors with a three channel controller we also have an additional waterproof enclosure for it which you purchase different grommets you do is Drill a hole in any flat surface of the box, insert the grommet, tighten it up on that on the inside as a rubber washer to seal it to make it waterproof. That sits on any surface and then with your wiring put your wiring through the grommet obviously wire it then the three channel controller will sit inside it's a rubber seal in the lid so when you push the lid down and as you tighten it down so the seal squashes and makes it waterproof. This concludes our video. Thank you very much for watching. For any more information, please do not hesitate to contact one of our team.